It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. And you are looking at Clutch from G.I. Joe. Now in a previous video, you saw me uh, pencil clutch and ink him. Uh, and actually it was this guy. Um, as, as sometimes happens with me, I pencil something, I finish inking it, I live with it for a little while, and uh, I end up not liking it. So I decided this guy just wasn't um, clutch enough for me, so I redid him. So this is my new clutch. I'm happier with this guy. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to color clutch. So clutch... Uh, he gives us uh, there's certain uh, coloring uh, issues here. Uh, first of all, I'm going in with um, this is my light suntan, my E13. And this is a fairly dark flesh tone. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do that first. And as I've said before in my coloring videos, when it comes to um, your your basic Caucasian flesh tone characters, I'm gonna start with that flesh tone first um, because by doing this first, I'm minimizing the possibility of contamination of you know having other colors run into my flesh tones or my flesh tones picking up other colors. Um, because right now there's no other color on here, just this. So it's just safer. Not It's not absolutely essential, you know, You, but if you did start with another color, when you went in with your flesh tones, you may just have to be a little bit more careful with how you do it. So right now what I'm doing is I'm picking out all the dark spots um, where his flesh might be a little darker and what I may do is go in and I may just push some of this, some of this a little bit more right away. And I'm trying to, you know, when you, when you color, and I've talked a lot about um, uh, light sources recently in my videos, but when you color, uh, it's always a good idea. Know where your light source is because uh, that's going to dictate where your shadows go. So I, I'm, I'm kind of treating Clutch here as though he's being lit from behind, which is what's, you know, this is why I've placed the, the dark skin tones where I have. And now I'm going in, this is my E02. Uh, they call it Fruit Pink. But as I've said before, you may want to go with uh, the numbers rather than the color names because Copic tends to, um, they tend to change color names sometimes and they won't tell you. So, uh, you know, you may be looking for, to refill a color and uh, you may have a hard time finding it, but if you go by the number, that, that'll be a lot easier. The, number, the numbers don't seem to change. They may get discontinued, but they don't seem to, they, the numbers don't seem to change. Um, okay, so now I'm going in. This is my lightest flesh tone of all, which is the E00. They, they call it skin white. Uh, I do believe that one has definitely had a name change. But I'm going in with this to kind of sew together some of the flesh tone that I've put in already. Always leave some white, as I've said before. Always leave, you know, like here. I'm, I'm bringing the lighter flesh tones out, but I'm still leaving that, that spot of white there um, to be my highlight. And, uh, you know, the white of the paper, that's as white as you're going to get. So um, don't kill it. You know, don't, don't outdo it. Um, okay. I want to go in now. This is this is what they call flesh RO2. Uh, this is actually a little bit of a warmer flesh tone. So I'm using this to heat up clutch in a few spots. 
push some of the tones that I'm putting down. I may want to make him darker too, but what I may want to do is let my colors dry, let them settle a little bit, and then, um, then judge. Because uh, you always have to remember that your colors are going to change as they dry. So as you put them down, they might seem a little sharp, a little vibrant, maybe a little darker than you wanted. Don't make any hasty decisions until you've let it dry, until you've let it calm down a little. Okay, now I want to get into some of the green. And I've broken out my marine green, appropriately enough, for, for a G.I. Joe member. Although I think Clutch was, was a regular army. Um, but this is a, a nice dark green. This is one of the, the darker greens. And that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go in and I'm going into the parts of his uniform or clothing, outfit, whatever he's wearing. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to add all of the really dark, dark accents. Okay. The folds in his shirt. Uh, I'm going to go down his pants, all these folds. Things are going to get dark there. Again, keeping in mind my light source. Uh, now, Clutch. Clutch is a little bit different from uh, the other original 13 G.I. Joes in that he, he didn't wear your basic, like a lot of the, the original 13 Joes. When you see them, um, they essentially wore like green sweatshirts and green pants. Um, there were a couple of, of exceptions, of course. Uh, most notable, uh, Scarlet, who was the only female member of the team, and she wore what she wore, which was like yellow and purple, if I remember right. Um, and of course, Snake Eyes, who was all in black in, in commando gear. Uh, but Clutch was one of the few guys who had something else going on other than just green. He had some some uh, little brown uh, accessories um, and also some uh, black accessories. And, and we may get into those too. So I'm going in with this. Uh, this is my lighter green. So they call it bright parrot green. Uh, and I'm, I'm coming out of where I've put in those dark, dark greens. So hopefully we can, we can get pretty far with, with clutch. Um, If not, there might be, there might need to be a clutch part two. Uh, I've also, if you followed my Instagram, Fernando Ruiz, everybody on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook, you saw I've also done Flash. And Flash, Flash was the very first G.I. Joe I ever got. He was my, my first G.I. Joe action figure. I'm a, I'm a little bit too young for the uh, for the big Joes, for the big eight inch, nine inch, whatever those those taller Joes were with the real hair. Um, so I miss those completely. But I was about twelve years old uh, when GI Joe, a real American hero, came out, and uh, that became my my Joe. So that's that's where that's where I. I First met G.I. Joe. It was in the three and three quarter inch scale. So Clutch, like I said, he's got these these accents of brown. So I'm gonna go in. Uh, it's almost like he wears a jacket over his um, over his his green shirt, which makes him stand out somewhat. And of course, the, the boots, his boots are green as, or I'm sorry, brown, as is that, um, that holster that he has down there. So I'm going to go in. Now, this is my dark brown, which is my, my darkest brown of all. 
And I'm gonna go in and do some, some dark shadows with this brown. Uh, some of these patches seem to be just molded in, in the same brown. These other attachments are black, and I may go in and do, so I may go in and do those last. Um, the belt. Going in with the, the marine green for my belt. Keep that nice and dark. Uh, gonna go in with my Nile green and come up out of some of these dark, some of this dark marine green that I laid down. And this will be my lighter, my more moderate green. So you can see, layering these colors the way I'm doing just gives it a little bit more dimension. You know, I'm not just looking at his shirt and saying, okay, or his pants and saying, okay, everything is just green. No, no. And I'm also not filling in these shapes all the way to the edge. Um, because again, you know, he's being lit from behind, as I said. So, you know, he's, he's going to be catching, he will be catching some light from many different directions. So, so the clock is, might be grabbing us. I don't want to go too far over. So I may do a, a part two. Maybe what I might do um, is color flash in instead of doing a part two on clutch. And what we could do is I'll post clutch when I finish him. Look at his head over here. I'll post clutch on my uh, social media when I finish him and, and you guys could see the um, the results there. Uh, one, one tiny little detail. I don't remember what color eyes Clutch officially has, but I'm giving him blue eyes. I'm giving him blue eyes. Now Clutch always had a, um, he always had a black beard and in comics, historically, blue was always used as the default highlight color. I'm going to go in with a little blue. I'm going to keep that. If I don't like it, I could always switch it out to a, a blacker tone. Um, and I might just, yeah, I'll just leave that and see how I feel about it later. Uh, where's my dark brown? This is leather, appropriately enough to come out to the leather accents on Clutch's, Clutch's accessories over here. And so, what do you think about Clutch? Is he coming along? Or does he look terrible? I hope you'll let me know in the comments below Again, keep an eye out on my uh, social media to see Clutch in a more finished state. This is, uh, this is probably as far as we'll go right now. Uh, I hope you dig Clutch. Uh, tune in soon for Flash and other coloring demos. And let me know what you think in the comments below, good or bad. And if you like it, don't forget to click like. If you didn't like it, click like anyway because it really helps me out. Okay, everybody, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot and keep drawing.